everyone, I'm Rosie and welcome back to my channel. This week we're collaging with paper dolls. So I unboxed these in my mystery mail challenge video that I did a couple weeks ago. Felicia sent me these and we didn't get to them in that video. I made some other collage, but today is the day we're gonna use these and I'm so excited to get inspired by these incredible outfits. There's some really cool dresses in here and I, I know we're just gonna be able to make something really awesome just because of how cool these are. So let's jump into it, let's flip through these and I'm really excited to see what we're gonna make today. So I feel like this idea might be a little stereotypical, but I feel like I have to do it at least once. I want to cut out a piece of the article of clothing and put like space in the background. Like look at this lady, if we just cut her code out and put like a galaxy in the background and then instead of her face, we put like a planet or something and keep her hair and hat. Like that is a really cool idea. And maybe, okay, I just got a different idea. What if we did an underwater one where we like cut out one of the outfits and put like coral or like the ocean back there and then put a fish head as the head. Like that is a really kind of cool concept. Like take an environment, replace part of the outfit with that environment and then an, something that lives in that environment, make that the head. That's an interesting concept that maybe we could play around a little bit with. I'm so, it, these outfits are absolutely stunning. I'm like in awe, this is so crazy. I'm like overwhelmed with the amount of beauty. And I'm only, this is only the first book. I've been looking for maybe a minute. <laughs> Okay, I'm not gonna be able to stop thinking about it until we do it. So let's just take this first lady that I pointed out before. Let's make her a space lady and then we'll do some other things. But like, I won't be able to think about anything else until I just do this and see if it looks cool. So let's, let's make this happen. Oh, someone asked me a couple videos ago how I was liking these new scissors that I talked about in my haul video. So I wanted to, maybe while I'm doing this, I could talk a little bit about it. So these are Cutter B brand detail scissors. I'm actually not entirely sure how I feel about them yet. So they're very sharp. Like that is so great. They are so sharp. So you really can be really precise. But the thing that I'm struggling with is, and maybe it's just this pair or maybe it will get better. I feel like this is, I'm getting a little bit of like resistance and it's a little stiff on the movement of the scissors. Whereas my normal scissors I used to use, these move like really fluidly. And these just feel like a little stiff, like you really have to like work to get them open and closed. I'm hoping that it just gets better over time and they'll loosen up, but that's just how I'm feeling right now. I'll report back in maybe a month or so. And we can see if my thoughts and feelings have changed. Now I'm hoping I have a planet cut out already that's the right size. Okay, found the planets. Like that one is a little bit big but could work. That one's too small. Oh boy. I think I'm gonna have to go into my space book and find something different maybe, but I guess this will be... No, see like, I it's kind of a good size. I kind of like that. I'll keep it out just in case we want to use that, but I think I'll need some more planets. Okay, I have three space books that I like a lot. So let's check in these. Actually, no, there's no planets in that one. <laughs> what if she's just chilling on this asteroid over here with her space coat? That might be cool. We'll think about that.
Okay, let's see if we can get one of these planets to work back here. <laughs> it looks so ridiculous. Okay, it's perfect. Let's see if this planet is any better. It definitely does like look like a planet, maybe a little bit more than the Earth does, even though that doesn't make sense because the Earth is Earth. It's like the planet in terms of, from human's perspective, I mean. Okay, the rings and the hat are maybe a bit much. Maybe we lose the hat? No, I really like the hat. Okay, I think the Earth is better. Let's stick to the good old Earth. Now we have to figure out the coat thing. So I think what I'm gonna do is cut it out and keep as much of the rest of it intact as possible. And then we'll use the coat I cut out as like a guide for the space, whatever galaxy background I find. I think that that will work. I'm trying to think if I should try to keep any of the like lines between the arms or if we don't need that, I don't know. Let's just, let's just do it. Let's see what happens. Okay, let's look for a space background. I must have something already cut out in this folder. Now I do wanna be cautious about the colors since there's a lot of red in the rest of the outfit. I think something that won't take away from that would be good. Like this is subtle, but maybe would work. This, I don't think there's enough of that. Here's an astronaut. We might want him for later, so let's take him. Like, see, I think that this is too red and I think we should avoid that. Oh, here are way more planets. Well, I think that all of these are too big, but it's good to know that the, these are here. These should go in my other folder. Oh, here's even more planets. Venus maybe would be good. Wow, I really should have looked through here <laughs> before we did anything else. Ooh, like this is really nice. I hope there's enough on this page to use that because I really like it. This is nice, but I don't think it's big enough. See, here's more planets. Like that Saturn might be the right size. Oh, but we said the rings and the hat aren't quite right. But I still think this sh these should go in my other folder, not in here. Okay, this one is definitely my favorite that I pulled. Ooh, and it's, oh my God, it's such a good color. Okay, we're gonna stick with this one. We don't need to do any more exploration because I like this one. Okay, let's see what this is gonna look like. So I just cut the jacket out in one full piece and I'm thinking I can just leave it um, intact on the bottom and just glue this front piece over it and that will work. Okay, so far so good, so far so good. Let's put the gloves in. I think that this will really sort of make it. Oh, I do think I was supposed to keep a piece, whoopsies. I think I was supposed to keep a little piece for the pocket to go into. Oh well, I guess we just didn't do that. <laughs> so then this glove goes up here. I gotta put the head back on. Okay, that is everything. I <laughs> love this so much. So this is the background that I found while we were flipping through that I just thought maybe would work. Um, I guess I'm gonna have to pick her up and to move her over. And I was thinking maybe we could, if she was like standing on this asteroid, that might be funny. This is already reminding me of two different pieces kind of smushed together that I've done in the past. The first one is uh, there were a group of bocce players and I took their skin off. That kind of sounds crazy. 
and I replaced it with space and then the bocce balls I replaced with planet. So it was like they were playing space bocce. So I would say that piece plus the one I just did a couple weeks ago, it was um, that fish coming out of the TV with the TV that had the high heels. Um, I feel like those two pieces put together made this. Now, this is really neat. I Wow, okay. I love that the background is spacey but still simple enough that she sort of stands off it. Now, I do feel like we're missing something. I don't know if it's just like an astronaut down here. That's... I don't know, maybe not that cool. Um, I do feel like there's one more space thing I have to add to this, but I'm not sure what it is. Let's work on a different scene and maybe come back to this, but I think this is pretty cool as is. I do just feel it needs like one more thing and I just can't figure out what that one thing is. But let's do a different scene because I like this concept of like taking an article of clothing, putting an environment in the article of clothing and then making the head a thing in that environment. Anyway, I like this theme, so let's keep going with it. So I was looking for a new environment for my next piece in this vegetable and fruit book. And I just wanted to share this thing that I found in the book before I show you the image. So I found this adorable plan for a garden. And this is one of like an additional fun thing of using thrifted books. Like look at this legend they made for this garden plan. This was just like a cute little find and I'd, I don't want to throw it away. I think I'm just going to keep it with the book because it's just too cute. But let me show you the image that I found that I think might work as a background. It was right in the front here. Okay, here it is. So I found this really interesting rooftop garden picture. And there's something about this photo I really like. And I, there's a lot of interesting things happening in the composition. And I remember there were some dancers in the paper doll books. And like, what if we had a dancer coming out of one of these pots and then we give maybe the dress we turn to like a tomato dress or give her like a strawberry head or something like that, or maybe both of those things. And it could be a cute little like garden, rooftop garden scene. So I think I'm gonna pull this out because I kind of like this idea. So let's try to make it work. And she fits perfectly on this image. I think this is a perfect fit. And I'm thinking maybe if we take her skirt and make it into like a strawberry skirt or an apple skirt or tomatoes or give her a tomato head. I'm gonna go back into the same fruit book that I found the background in because at the back of this book are vegetable illustrations. And so these might be fun to use. I also feel like I saw a, an image of strawberries in here that might be fun. I'm gonna see if I can try to find it. Oh, here's the strawberry photo I was talking about. I think that maybe this might make a cute skirt. I think that there's potential here and I like that it's a photo and not an illustration because I don't know, I just feel like that might work a little bit better in the scene because she is an illustration. So I don't wanna have too many illustrations. So let's pull this photo out and see if we can make it work. The tape I've been using today to help me cut these out is artist tape. And the other thing I like to do is to stick this to my pants a couple times. It's naturally um, not very sticky because that's sort of its purpose, but I like to stick it to my pants just a few times just to make sure it's not that sticky. And it's just been helpful because I'm using these shapes as a guide. I can um, use them to get the shape exactly right. So it's been helpful. I think that turned out perfect. Now let's get her, let's try to get this sort of 
put together a little bit. Oh, I think this works really well. I think it's really sweet. And you can still tell they're strawberries, thank goodness. That's what I was worried about. Now, she does need a fruit as a head. I probably should give her a strawberry head just to keep the theme sort of more consistent. But if I can't find a strawberry, she's gonna get something else. But let's go back into this fruit book. I've been using this a lot today because I know that there are illustrations of fruits in the back. Now let's see if we can find a strawberry one. Oh, okay. Oh, there's two. These are perfect. Oh my God, okay, there's definitely one in here. I think I'm gonna lean towards this one purely because I like this bunch of strawberries and I feel like I could use this in a future project. And this one, I feel like it can more cleanly cut from the group. And so I, that is purely why I'm picking this one, just because I think <laughs> for future images. Oh my God, she's perfect. Now, I'm a little torn on whether or not I should keep the hair. It's not quite the right size. Like, I'm not sure if I can <laughs> make this work and have it look any sort of real. And I'm worried it will just sort of muddy the image a little bit. So I'm gonna make the executive decision to leave the hair out and just give her this strawberry head. And I love that it's tucked behind the wings I will say the peacock wings, not really on theme with the strawberry thing, but that's okay. So I think this girl is looking really cute. I love her. I wanna pull out the space lady just so we can look at everything together. So here's the series as it's looking right now. I do wanna make one more and I also just wanna keep in the back of my head what these look like. So my third one looks different from them. So we have sort of like a nice variety. So I don't know what that's gonna be, but let's start looking at some environments. I do find that that's, for this project in particular, it, looking at the environments first has been helpful to know where they're gonna live before I do everything else. So that's been helpful for me for this, so I'm gonna keep doing that. So I think an underwater scene is probably going to be a nice complementary environment to the other two. So we have like a space one and a more earthy, natural land one, and then an underwater one. I just feel like that's sort of like a nice, that will be a nice set. And so I'm hoping in here I can find a nice background. I mean, this one already is good. And I do like the idea of giving the person a fish head. I think that I just like sort of have to do that because it's really fun. Oh, this is a really nice background. And I like that it's like kind of dark. Um, I think the person might stand off this really well. So let's pull this one out. All right, now let's look for a person for this scene. I do kind of want to find a guy. I feel like that might be nice for the series, um, add some more variety. There are less uh, men in these books, so I'm gonna have less to choose from, but let's lean towards that way and see what we can find. That's just a crazy outfit. But I think that that will be a good way to balance everything out. This guy looks like he's underwater already. There's something about this like all white with the red tie outfit that I think might be cool. We could make the shirt a different sort of underwater thing and the pants a different one and keep the belt white and keep the tie. Hopefully he'll fit. And I think we can nestle him maybe behind some of this coral. I think I'm gonna go with this one. I don't know, there's just something about it that I like. Oh, he is a perfect size for this image. Now I want to find three images, one for his shirt, one for his pants and a fish for his head. So I'm gonna first look at this aquarium book. These images are kind of smaller, but we don't need that much for his shirt. So maybe we'll use one of these. 
I think that probably I should use an illustration of a fish for his head. That probably makes more sense. Ooh, see, if it was bigger, I'd want to use like this image because that's really cool. I'm not sure if any of these images are right, so let's keep looking. Let's look for the fish head in this book. Um, I think that might sort of dictate maybe what colors we want the background to be, because I think we're gonna have to be a little bit more picky on the fish head, because it's gotta work with his head, so the proportions have to be right. <laughs> what about the puffer fish? Is <laughs> That might be good. That might be really good. But I also don't want to cut out his spine, so maybe not that. Okay, so I've decided on this fish for the head. There's still some finessing I need to do around the collar, but I kind of like the facial expression of this fish, and I also like the colors. I think that it blends in, but also stands out, if that makes any sense. But I've also changed my mind on changing the shirt. I think I'm gonna keep the shirt as it is and just do the pants, and still keep the belt white, because I like that sort of detail. Now, I think that I want to try to find an image that's complementary to the fish. So something that's greenish, yellowish. So I don't think that any of these that I picked out are quite right for that. So we're gonna have to go back in to find something else. I haven't really been able to find an image that's much better than this one. So let's cut it out, uh, hope we can make it work. And if it's not, if it doesn't work, we will, I don't know, figure it out then. But let's just hope this one works. <laughs> Okay, I think that works. Um, I do think it doesn't quite look like pants, so maybe we should try to cut up the leg line and maybe just having that one little cut line there will make it feel more like pants. I don't think it's super important, but I do think that maybe it will just add something. Oh, we still wanna add the belt in. I forgot we wanted to keep the belt. I think that that will help make it feel like pants. Okay, I was able to keep the belt loops on the pants. So the belt looks like it's going through the pants and I love that detail. I think that that's perfect. Okay, let's put this all back together. Okay, I love this. I think it looks just like pants. I think that I kind of saved it from it not looking like pants. And I love it. Let's get the whole series out because I am in love with it. Oh no, Strawberry Girl got a little, a little messed up. Here's the series all lined up. I do have to do some finishing touches, glue everything down, get everything square. But I am thinking this series looks super great. I love it. And I think there's some really cool stuff happening. So let's finish things up and then we'll talk about the final pieces.
So here are the three collages we made today. It's been a while since I've done sort of like a series of collages um, in one video, and so I'm really glad I was able to make these work. And I feel like I could have kept going with more dolls and more environment combinations. It's just a kind of like a fun, fun little series you could do. And I really love that we have sort of like a purpley black color scheme and then a red and green, a little bit lighter color scheme and then a blue and green sort of color scheme. I just feel like they are different, but also very similar. And I love, I just feel like they fit really well together as a series. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you next week for another collage video. Bye.